Hello everyone and welcome to the workshop. Today I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on the Power Hammer build uh, and the modifications that I've made to it since I last showed the video uh, manufacturing it. So one of the key modifications that I've made since filming the build video uh, was to add this steam hammer linkage to um, the hammer. So what the steam hammer linkage does is it takes the input from the foot pedal uh, which originally just uh, created one reciprocation. It adds to it the, uh, the position of the ram uh, and then uses those two inputs to, to switch the valve up here uh, to, to create a reciprocating motion. Uh, and the reason this is better than the individual um, uh, kind of striking mode that it was, that it was previously designed with it is that really the, the ram moves a lot quicker and you can move a lot more metal. So we'll go through this, the details of this, using uh, a bit of cardboard uh, and some pins to show you how all the various inputs work and how I came about designing that particular mechanism. So before I made the actual mechanism that you've just seen, I made one in cardboard to help me work out in my head how these... How these uh, various leaves and things are going to work. Um, essentially we've got two inputs and one output. So the first input is the pedal and the pedal is either in its up position or in its down position or it's, you know, its resting position or when you put the foot on the pedal. Uh, and then you've got the ram input here uh, and this represents the ram being at the top and the ram being at the bottom of its stroke. Uh, then you've got an output here which is essentially the valve. So when this line lines up with the top of the board here, the ram wants to be at the top position. And when this line here is lined up with the top here, the ram wants to be in the bottom position. So either it will be at the top position, when it's here it will be trying to make its way up to the top position. Uh, and the same with the, the, the bottom one here. It will either be at the bottom position or it will want to be making its way to the bottom. So if we assume that the, uh, the starting point is down here, with the ram in its lower position with gravity um, you've got the uh, the pedal up you're not standing on the pedal um, and what we see is that this is beyond the ram top position so air will be filling up the ram it will want to go it will want to uh, put it to the top position so the ram will go to the top uh, and then it will be static there so the ram will be at the top this will be at the top and everything will be um, stationary you then push the pedal down and this moves this to the ram bottom position your ram then goes down to the bottom it moves it to the ram top position your ram goes to the top and it reciprocates like that and then when you put the pedal down it will naturally want to go back to its uh, resting position at the top when the air is on if we look at this mechanism more closely, we see we have an adder. We have an adder between the input from the pedal, uh, an adder between the input from the ram. Um, the input from the pedal is, is into this bar here, uh, and the input from the ram is here. And the ratios are such that they're approximately balanced uh, when this output um, bar is in the middle. So you can change the ratio between how much the pedal affects <coughs> and how much the ram affects by moving this backwards and forwards between these two positions. If you put it here, then it's mainly affected by the pedal. If you put it here, then it's mainly affected by the ram. And that's how you balance the speed of how fast the ram reciprocates uh, to the point where you can get it to do individual hits like I originally designed the hammer to do.